Hi guys, welcome back on my channel again. I hope you are same happy like I am to see you here again. And today we are going to create a logo design. Uh, an idea came up from the Pinterest because that's one of the most popular logos uh, going around. And I thought I will recreate this look. You can have a wee preview here. And that's exactly what we are going to create in here. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button to don't uh, miss any other great tutorials uh, as I'm here on Monday, Wednesdays and Saturday. And if you're existing subscriber, hit those notification bell to don't miss any future tutorials. Let's start! see a close-up again of this super simple design um, it's nothing overly too complicated and the idea came from the logos like they, they're really popular at the minute those kind of logo styles so I thought I would try it on the nails why not again Pinterest is for, uh, fantastic uh, for those kind of uh, ideas I'm just using a tiny bit of the pink and the other pink and we're going to need some gold sparkle so i'm just going to put some gold sparkle i'm using the neon neil gel polishes i like their size for the for the designs and then using my brush the large one we are going to do the design so the first step is buff the tip then apply the top coat. Actually, I'm, I've got two top coats. So one is a soak of top gel, and this one we are going to use because I've got inhibition layer with it. And this way, the next layer is going to stick in because the gels only stick in to the rough or sticky surface, unless they are paint on gels and they stick in everywhere. Decent amount of the top coat on the side. So we've got the top coat here. My brush going into the top coat, into the pink, and into the pink. And what I'm going to do is I, I will do like a wee splash of the color. A tiny bit on the other places as well. More top coat. And what I'm doing, doing basically is just I'm smudging this design. Do it more on the one side, maybe a bit more going to the top and to the bottom. And because we've got this top coat, it does marble really well. So after I have created this background, I can swap into the painting, into painting some golds. So I've got my D-liner D -liner brush and now I'm picking up a small amount of the gold glitter. So on some places, I want the gold cracks. And again, the Pinterest has lots of those like um, marble kind of style logos. And that's where you will get your ideas from. I'm just painting those wee cracks. And what I love, by the time I paint these cracks, also my um, things is marbling itself. And maybe here a larger one as well. Okay, so this way we have created like a beautiful, it looks awesome on its own, like to be honest, we, we even don't have to add anything to it. But I'm going to cook it and I will show you one more. You just buff it. Very quick designs. Soak of top gel. You need this top coat or a base gel, something which uh, is going to allow you work like wet on wet. Because that's what the idea is about it, like to working on the wet to wet. And this one. Oh, and what shape I want. Maybe I will go like this for a change. Just to 
slightly different shape a couple of the patches just to make the background dirty more top coat get into pink now i'm just washing it off a little bit just so it's not as strong into those kind of diamond shape perfect so once i'm happy with it again i'm going to go into my gold and we are going to do a couple of the cracks Don't make them too large. Just a wee tiny ones. And where we've got this large amount of the product here, the darker one, I can treat it more. The stronger here, like one place where we've got like more gold. And on the other side, more gold. And a wee cracks. So I love it how it's does really nicely marble. And the longer I will wait, the more interesting design I will get. Put it inside the lamp. And now I have tried to do this design with the glitter. And yes, you can do it with the glitter as well. Uh, but what I find it is that it's pretty difficult to paint the fine lines with the glitter. And they are not as strong so i will do one with the glitter and one i've got something like an amy i'm not sure if i pronounced it good amy past and um, the biggest struggle with those paints are that the lids usually crack um but i squeeze out a little bit of this gold just to find place where i have no top coat okay so it is like really nicely pigmented gold actually you know what i came to idea i could maybe try to mix it with the glitter Yay. and now we are going to paint the design so you, we can paint it maybe on this one we will paint it square Yeah, that actually looks nice and uh, because i've got those paste which is much more highly pigmented than the glitter i can get a really nice fine lines okay, so i've got square and now we want to cure it because the next square is going to kind of overlap on the other square and here we will do the diamond shape. You can also paint the, do the stamping inside um, of this design as well. I think it will look cool too. Put it inside the lamp. I'm sure you have seen those logos like uh, done with this style. So yeah, why not to copy it on the nails? <laughs> okay. And now the square needs to get old side. So first line here. Get it old side, the first square. That's the first one finished. So we've got two, two squares. Kick it inside the lamp. And now we can do it in here as well. So when I'm painting fine lines, like nice and 
small amount of the product at the tip of my brush. Slowly. And then this one can go inside. That's actually the line work finished. You can see how cool and simple design it is. But as I say, like on the beginning, when you've seen it before, we put any line work, it was looking super cool, even without all those gold. But I think that's just finished it off. And now we could do like on letters or something inside. I'm top coating to protect the gold. Give it a cure. And do exactly the same on the other one. Super quick and easy for your clients. And I think it's kind of elegant. Like, you, you know, I, I love to take the inspiration from, from different things. So like um, searching like what, what is on, even on the shops, like sometimes you can see there's some certain theme which is going on and which is really popular, like say, maybe in bright store where you will see like there is lots of i don't know swans and and uh, flamingos in there and that's what what is going to be fashion also on the news as well because that's what the clients are going to ask about it because they got a new phone case which is having a pink marble with the gold or or they have got a new cushions and new curtains so like lots of different ideas from the household items and uh, I love those designs, like nothing overly too complicated and looks super pretty. I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and here. If you're an existing uh, subscriber, hit those notification bell as there is lots of great tutorials coming up. Glittery hacks and bye for now.